Hey everyone, welcome back to Sachs Tuition. My name's Jeremy and in this Tone Tips video, we're gonna be looking at eliminating squeaks by using our bottom lip correctly. So let's get into it. Okay, so what do you think is the number one cause of squeaks on the saxophone? I'll tell you the answer. It's putting your bottom teeth on the reed. Now, it's always a recipe for disaster and I'm not gonna demonstrate it because it'll probably uh, wake up the neighbors or your dog and I don't wanna subject you or your speakers to that. So how do we avoid accidentally putting our bottom teeth on the reed? Well, it all comes down to the lower lip. If it's used correctly, then it acts as a pillow and a barrier between the reed and the lower teeth but it's actually so much more than that. And so much of our sound on the saxophone comes from correctly using that lower lip. If there's too much lower lip covering the reed, it ends up smothering it. In other words, it mutes the vibrations of the reed that we need to create a great sound. So how do we get that bottom lip right where we want it? Well, the key is to just gently curl that lower lip inwards. So it acts as that cushion for the reed to rest on. Now we don't want to pull it all the way over the bottom teeth, right? We don't want to do that because that will smother the reed. So just gently curl it in inwards and that way we'll be able to prevent squeaks and get the best possible sound. Now at the same time, by curling the lip inwards slightly, we're also preventing the lip from wanting to splay outwards, which is actually the worst thing you can do because it doesn't protect the reed from the lower teeth. It smothers the reed at the same time and it doesn't give us any control over the sound. So without the saxophone, just practice gently curling that lower lip over the bottom teeth and then get the saxophone and try it with your long tones. Now, if you're a student of the Sax Tuition Beginner Series from the Sax Tuition website, then you know that beginner or professional, the most important part of every practice session is the long tones. Why? Because it gives us that opportunity to shut out any other distractions and just solely focus on getting a great sound, focusing on the embouchure, breathing, posture, all of those things which go into tone production. So practice your long tones, focus on gently curling your lip inwards, and I've got no doubt that those squeaks will start to disappear. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this tip, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel. And if you're just starting the saxophone from scratch, check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series on the Sax Tuition website. Uh, there's uh, videos, lesson videos, uh, an ebook, play along tracks. There's everything you need to conquer the saxophone from scratch. Well, thanks very much again, guys. I'll see you all soon.